This is your boy Nose Gamer guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all some sniping and mass bidding filters that y'all can be using to make some coins on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team, guys. We have Team of the Season right around the corner. We have a bunch of Player of the Year um, players and SBCs getting ready to come out. So I am gonna show y'all some trading methods, some sniping and mass bidding filters, and some sniping and bidding filters to help y'all make coins. Uh, if you are new to the channel, this whole channel is based on FIFA 19 Ultimate Team trading. So if you learn how to trade. If you want to learn the best trading methods, learn when to buy, when to sell players, and what, know when the market's going to crash, and how to maintain your coins as well, hit that big red subscribe button underneath the video. Hit that bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn on my post notifications and smash a like on the video. Also, guys, if you want to see me trade um, and play foot jumps and division rivals live, twitch.tv slash news gaming. That link is in the, uh, in the description. Feel free to follow me on Twitch. And then also, guys, if you have any additional like uh, trading or squad related questions feel free to um, DM me on Twitter at Nails Gaming follow me DM me or on Instagram at Deontay Nails all y'all gotta do is follow me and DM me on one of those social medias and I'll get back to y'all as soon as possible and then I will also leave all those links in the description so you can go check out those links um, as well but let's get into the video for today guys we're going to be talking about some sniping and mass bidding filters and I do do this video every week. I break down the best informs uh, because, in my opinion, guys, the informs are really, really good cards to mass bid and snipe, or to bid and snipe, um, and to, to quick flip. They're also good for invest investing in the long term. Um, so today's today's video, we're gonna be talking about which cards are the best ones to snipe. Tomorrow's video, I'll be doing a full team of the week guide and explaining which informs are the best ones to invest in to hold for the long term. But let's get into the video. Let's get into these um, sniping and, and bidding filters. Um, uh, first off, I'll just go ahead and explain this. Um, when it comes to sniping these informs, I usually um, don't. Uh, I usually try to stay at around. Uh, I try to snipe informs that are around at least fourteen thousand coins, no no less than fourteen thousand, because of that minimum buy now price, and and you having to get it for so cheap. That it's going to be close to that minimum buy now price, and it's just going to be hard to win these cards consistently. And I don't like to go over 35,000 coins, really 30, 35k, um, simply because of um, of uh, how much you're going to have to pay in taxes and all that stuff, guys. So really, the sweet spot, guys, is 15 to 30,000, 35,000 coins. So we're going to break down the informs that fit that criteria, and I'm going to explain that to y'all. Um, so first off, guys, we have here is uh, Petenga, or or Peta, Petagana, Petagana. He is, eh, he's around, he's on the he's on the edge, guys. He's around thirteen thousand five hundred coins, close to fourteen thousand coins on both console, console. So he's on the edge of that price range. Next up is uh, Perez, guys. Perez, he's fourteen thousand on both consoles. Um, now Buffal. Buffal is he's around 14,000 on Xbox One, 13,000 on PS4. So maybe on Xbox One you could pick up this guy, try to snipe him, put him on the bid. But for Xbox or for PS4, he's a little bit cheap. 12,700 or 12,750 um, coins is a bit cheap. Uh, maybe if you're going for around 13,000, uh, you could look to snipe him. But that's really really too cheap in my opinion. Um, uh, then we have. Next, we have this guy right here, uh, Roy. I'm just gonna call him Roy, guys. Roy is um, he's around 15,000 coins on PS4, 16,000 on Xbox One, so he's definitely a good one to, to, to snipe and mass bid on or snipe and bid on. And this is a really good one that I like for uh, investing in for the long term, and that is Philip, guys. Philip Max, um, he's a bonus league left mid, he's 14,000 coins on Xbox One, 14,000 coins on PS4. And 82 rating inform, which is a good inform um, as well. So you can look to snipe and, and make some quick coins on that. Um, then we have Marcel uh, Halstenberg. Um, he's a left back from the Bundesliga. I think he's from the Bundesliga. Yeah, he's from the Bundesliga. And he is going for around 16,000 coins. Around 15,500 on PS4. Around 15,000 on Xbox One. So he's close to that price range. He's a perfect inform to snipe. You can try to get him for... For I mean, a two thousand coins less than what he's going for, and we list him and make a thousand coins per card. That is a very very good card. You can definitely snipe, and it will have a lot of volatility. Um, then we got um, next up, Mr. Christian Benteke, guys. Benteke, sixteen thousand coins on on PS4, fifteen thousand coins on Xbox One. Uh, then we have Diego Carlos. 
who is uh, 15,500 coins on PS4, close to 16K, and 15,000 coins on Xbox One. We have a lot of cards. That we have a, a couple more, uh, but this this week's informs are really, really good in terms of sniping and mass bidding, or sniping and bidding and investing in the long term. Uh, then we have next, we have Mena. Uh, Mena is... He is 20,000 coins on PS4, around 18,000 um, on Xbox One. So that is a fairly good card to, to snipe and, and bid on. Um, and then we have uh, Linglet. And this is another card that I really do like for investing in the long term. He's French. He's from the uh, Liga Santander, and he's from Barcelona, and he's an 84 rated. He's 24,000 coins on Xbox One, 24,000 coins on PS4, close to that same price range. And guys, I mean, you can definitely make good coins sniping him and bidding on him because he is he fits the, the criteria, guys. He's an 84 in form. He's French, from which is a good nationality. He plays in a great league, and he plays on a great team. So, guys, this is really a good card to, to, to really to win on the snipe and then um, to kind of quick trade and also to invest in for the long term. So that this is a money card right here in terms of, um, in terms of overall trading. And then I think that is going to be it for all the. I mean, you can really try to uh, snipe and bid on Sergu. Um, he's around thirty six thousand coins on both consoles. Thirty six thousand on PS4, thirty three thousand on Xbox One. And you can try to snipe and bid on him. But I mean, you're going to start to see these cards pop up a little bit less frequently on the snipe, and you're going to be able to win a little. You're going to you're going to start to win less on the bid as well once you start going up higher and higher in prices because there's not as many cars the volatility is not as high um, so yeah guys uh, but I mean that is those are the cars I'll go over them one more time uh, uh, Pentenga or uh, Pedagana uh, Perez, Benteke, Buffal, Diego Carlos, Sergu, uh, Linglet, uh, Halstenberg and then uh, what was it oh, uh, Felipe Max and then uh, this uh, Krishina guy and then Mena. So those are the cards. The, those are the best ones to snipe and mass bid on or snipe and bid on. And I'm gonna give you give you an example of what I mean by snipe and bid on. Let's see, does Linglet I think Linglet has a we'll, we'll go with Benteke. I'm gonna get, use Benteke as an example. Uh, let's go to Benteke. You just go to Benteke um, on the market, you would search special card guys, see what special cards he has. Okay, he only has this 82 in form, perfect. So what you would do is you go try to find this buy now at the 30, 40 minute mark, guys. You don't want to look at the 59 minute mark and listen for that because um, let's say you want it because of, of this right here. You can you can leave the, say you snipe five or six Benteke A's and you put them on the market and then you go play a game. That game takes 20 minutes, guys, 20, 30 minutes, depending on, on what game you're playing and, and how long um, it takes you to get through everything. Um, so why not just put it up there and, and, and let it sell for the price in the 30 to 40 minute mark and make an extra 250 to even almost up to a thousand coins a card by just letting it sit there for a little bit longer. So you, I never really like to put it at that price at the 59th minute mark or even at the 50 minute mark because it's going to sell if you list it for that price at the 30, 30, between the 30 and 40 minute mark. You're going to be able to make more coins, more profit. So Benteke, um, you, you're going to search for his price at the 30, 40 minute mark. And right now, guys, right now. Um, it is a weird time in the market. It's super, super early in the morning everywhere. So there's not a lot of people playing the game. But I'm just going to give you all in general an example of what you would do. Uh, so uh, let's see. 14.5. Okay, so really we're going to just use an example. Like I said, the market's at a weird time. It's really, really early. Uh, so let's say he's going for 15,000 coins at the forty, at the 30 to 40 minute mark. Um what you would do is you're gonna have to uh, include, you're gonna have to take out tax. So you're gonna sell it for fifteen thousand coins. You gotta think how much am I gonna get taxed? You're gonna get taxed seven hundred fifty coins. So you gotta automatically go down to fourteen thousand two hundred fifty coins, and that is your break even point. That's where you're gonna uh, break even. So you're gonna have to go down another seven hundred fifty coins because you want to at least make seven hundred fifty coins on this card. And so thirteen thousand five hundred is is where we want to get cards at. And then all you would do is you would just you just take the max price up and just start trying to snipe and keep searching until anything something pops up. And like I said, nothing really gonna pop up right now because it's so early in the morning. Uh, but you just keep sniping, keep sniping. Nothing comes up. Um, then you just go to the max price and you take it up to thirteen five hundred, 
and then you start trying to win these cards from the bid. And that's simply how you do that. Those are that's how you you snipe and mass bid or snipe and bid on cards. Um, now the best time to do these filters, I would recommend at around, I would say from anywhere around 1 p.m. UK time to around midnight UK, uh, p.m. UK time. Um, that, is, that that's the best time to do these filters because that's when the most people are on the market. You're gonna see the most cards in the market, and these cards are gonna be highly volatile. And you're gonna see a lot of cards be put up, and it'll be a more structured. Uh, market for these cards but guys um, that's gonna do it for the video I'm trying to think is there anything else I need to tell you all about this oh yeah make sure you do check all prices guys check all prices because the prices could change between now and when you are doing these filters so check all prices before you do try to start one of these cards uh, but that is gonna do it for today's video guys uh, thank y'all for watching go check out footband.com and you can look at and that's how I was telling y'all their prices based on footband so footband.com, go to new players and you can see all the informs, all the man of match cards and all that stuff, guys. But it's me, Boy Nails Gaming. Thank y'all for watching. Have a great day. Peace out, guys.